Hi, I'm Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. We finally reached a game week where we're going to play the wild card for the 5% game. So anybody who's been watching this series but hasn't joined in yet, now's a good time to join in if you still have your wild card. This series is aimed at helping you to do well in your mini leagues. If you follow these instructions, you absolutely will not win the entire competition because we're going for a very steady approach where we gradually, gradually get points. To win the whole tournament, you need to be transferring in and out players at exactly the right time who happen to do well in certain weeks. So there is an element of good fortune to doing it because we don't know who's going to do well when. The approach we're taking here is we have 11 players who intend to play week in, week out, and we have a bench. And then I will discuss each week which players you need to be putting on your bench, the order of the bench. But the idea is to hopefully finish in the top 5% overall. So if you're in a mini league and there's, say, 20 odd people playing, you should do quite well. You definitely won't finish in the bottom half if you follow these instructions. Anyone who's been following this series, you'll be wanting to wildcard. So you make all the transfers and then when you press to confirm, you should have a screen pop up and you get to choose play your wildcard and then you confirm your wildcard. Of course, if you've used your wildcard, you can still follow this. It's just you're going to take a points, hit, a points hit, but you still may do better than if you just go randomly in your own direction if you're unsure about the game and what to do. We'll start by looking at the bankers. I have one for each position. Ward is the banker goalkeeper, but he'll be on the bench. James for Chelsea's our defender. Arsenal Martinelli's our midfielder. And Haaland's the striker. So everyone playing this will have these four players. Now regarding the prices, the people I'm aware of who are following this series, and there's three for sure that I know of, I've checked and I believe they can afford any combination of the players I'm going to show you. If you find you're a little bit short of money, it's easy enough to switch out one of the following players, but you'll see when we get to it. Now, there's six teams not playing this week. So James, even though he's a banker, he's going to end up not getting us any points and he will magically go down to the bench, even though we have him in our starting 11. I would suggest you get no more than one other player from the choices available today that have that little stop sign by them, meaning they're not playing this week. However, it's your team, you can get as many as you like, but any more than one more, so two in total, I think is a little bit risky. Goalkeeper, the choice is Ramsdale from Arsenal and Pope from Newcastle. In the immediate future, Pope may well do better, but between now and the World Cup, there may not be much difference between these two. Unless there's a bad injury or a, maybe a three-match ban, we wouldn't ever transfer out a goalkeeper. So whichever one you choose now, you need to reckon you've got until the World Cup. Defenders. You want to choose two of these defenders. Trent for Liverpool. Cancelo of Man City. Perisic for Tottenham. And Trippier for Newcastle. Now, I'll say a little bit about each of them. At the moment, Liverpool are underperforming. But if they get their act together, then Trent should be very, very good. He'll be getting clean sheets and he'll be getting some assists and some goals. But at the moment, he's not been great. Cancelo should be quite steady. He will get some assists, the occasional goal. But Man City should get a good number of clean sheets. Perisic is for anyone who likes risk. He will get quite a few weeks where he'll only get one point or two points. But some weeks, he will get double figures. And by the end of the season, I know we're only talking a few weeks here, but by the end of the season, if Perisic stays fit, he should definitely be one of the highest scoring defenders in the game. Trippier, short term, the next few weeks, should get very good points. And over the course of the season, he should be doing quite well. So any of these four are good. If you particularly like one of these teams or dislike one of the teams, it's OK to let that influence your decision. I won't say who I'd get if it was me. But actually, in my own personal team, I currently have all four of these. So I'm personally happy with all of them. Perisic is the one that's going to give you the most heartache, though, I expect, if you choose him. Trent isn't playing this week, so just be aware of that. You want to have three of these midfielders. Luis Diaz, Jared Bowen, Foden from Man City, Madison Leicester, Saka from Arsenal, Zaha from Palace. 
Over the next few weeks, these could all score very similar points. In the immediate future, Madison and Bowen may do quite well, but between now and the World Cup, there may not be an awful lot of difference between these. So again, if there's a team you particularly like or a player you particularly like or don't like, it's okay to let that affect your decision. It may be if you're just joining in now and you don't have enough money, you're going to be forced to take one of the slightly cheaper players. And Luis Diaz is a player that's not playing this week. Zaha is also not playing this week. You want to choose two of these forwards. Jesus from Arsenal. Tony from Brentford. Isaac from Newcastle. Mitrovic from Fulham. And Solanke from Bolton. Something I should have mentioned earlier is we now know in game week 12, Arsenal and Man City aren't playing. So just be aware if you get more than three players in total from those teams, you may be a bit short that week regarding players. But again, you might be able to ride the storm or you might just want to switch to somebody else. But for now, it's okay to choose any of these two forwards. You want to have two of these defenders. Luca Dean for Aston Villa. He wouldn't normally be in this selection, but the next few games are looking quite good for Aston Villa. For Fana for Chelsea... He, of all these defenders I'm showing you just now, he's the one that's most likely to go up in value because he should get played every week. There's a reasonable chance, especially with Potter in chance, Chelsea are going to get clean sheet. So that 4.4 is probably too cheap for a first choice Chelsea defender. Justin for Leicester, just because they've got a few nice games coming up. Nico Williams for Nottingham Forest and Padston for Everton. Most weeks, these are going to be starting on your bench. The order's going to change, but these will be on your bench. And Fafana's not playing this week. Remember not to choose too many players that aren't playing this week. In midfield, you want to choose one of these, and again, these would be sitting on your bench. Andreas for Fulham, or Bailey from Villa. So now we've got our 15 players, let's look at the bench. You're going to have Ward as your benched goalkeeper. And now I'm going to show you eight players. The first player that comes up that you have, you want to put in your... Um, bench player number three, the next one bench player two, the next one bench player one. You're all going to have three of these players. Fafana, Justin, Patterson, Williams, Andreas, Bailey, Luca Dean. Now we already know James isn't playing this week, so in actual fact Luca Dean will come on and score you points this week. If you've chosen somebody else with one of those red stop signs on them, then obviously the next player is going to be coming in for you. And there's always a chance somebody's going to get injured in warming up, or maybe you've chosen uh, two players with the red stop sign, in which case all your bench is going to get used. Regarding captaincy, the old mule hat, as you could probably predict, it's Haaland who has to wear the hat for game week eight, and quite possibly every week, but definitely this week. Now the vice captain, there's a selection. Basically I couldn't do it easily because... We've only got four bankers and none of them are necessarily going to be the best vice-captain choice. So if you have Mitrovic, give him the wee mule bonnet. If you don't have him but you have Isaac, then he gets the bonnet this week. If you don't have either of those but you have Bowen, then make him your vice-captain. If you have none of those but you do have Jesus, then make him your vice-captain. And if you have none of those four players, then you will have Martinelli at least, so make him your captain. Not quite straight. So hopefully that made sense. You may have to rewind the video and watch it again to get to the right points and choose which players you're choosing. As I said, this is absolutely got no chance of probably even finishing in the top 100,000 overall. But there's a good chance we'll be able to finish in the top 5% with this. So you do well in your mini leagues. Hopefully that makes sense. And hopefully I've not made any mistakes of all of that. I think it looks all right. Okay, thanks for watching and all the best if you decide to play this series. Thanks, bye.